Hi everybody, Rob Keys here, playing on the Xbox Series X. We're about a week away from the embargo lifting on our reviews, uh, and that's when I can post videos like this to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash failcube. I'll also be live streaming this and all my regular PC and soon PS5 gameplay on twitch.tv slash failcube every evening around 9 or 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, for this video, I am playing Dirt 5, the Xbox Series X version. Uh, there is no Forza, which is strange. It's two years, two holiday seasons in a row where there's no Forza game from Xbox Game Studios, especially at the launch of a new console. Uh, so typically those are beautiful visual showpieces. Luckily, Codemaster, who makes rather excellent uh, racing games, and many of them, uh, stepped up and they brought Dirt 5 to PC, the current but soon-to-be-old generation consoles, the PS4 and Xbox One, but also, of course, they have uh, upgraded high-resolution high texture versions uh, for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. So, uh, I've done two races so far. I quickly want to show you this one, uh, with the purpose of showing you... Let me move the camera over so you can see what I just bought. You know what? I'll take it off the screen. So, uh, this is the car you started with. I, I can't remember if I had a choice between three, one, two, or three or not, but, uh, this is the car I started with, and I just bought this one because it said A and A for its performance and handling. So, for the second race, I'll choose that one again. Uh, I've only used it once. But the purpose of this video is to show you uh, what the title of the game really means. The game is called Dirt, and this track is very dirty. Uh, and I want to show you not just what the uh, damage models of the car look like, um, but what happens when you see some weather changes and, and start driving into the mud. Alright, here we go. And you know what, I'll turn this off so you can see. Going from the first level to the second one, uh, and it looking aesthetically extremely different. Um, this one's in Norway, I think. Really turned me on to the visuals and how much, uh, how much diversity there could be in the environments. So I'm very curious if there's any levels that have like a lot of snow and ice combined with the mud and dirt. This was a tricky one because the, the road started on a paved road. Then it went straight to the namesake terrain. There we go, back to pavement. Oh, I should pay attention to the minimap in the bottom left there. So, my favorite part about these games, which are more arcade like, is that you can freely bump into opponents, no big deal, on like normal difficulty. Like that. And then use them, just like I do in Forza. Oh, whoa, 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 sharp turn. Uh, and use other opponents like I do in Forza, where they. Uh, can help me do sharp turns without slowing down. I just drive into the, drive into them, have them hold me on the track. Oh, bad driving. The sound is great too. It really feels like you're in like a dirt rally car when you're holding down the trigger. I will say I'm playing on the Xbox Series X wireless controller, of course, and there's a lot of vibration happening and a, and a little bit of haptic feedback too. There's a vibration in the trigger as well as the controller itself. Uh, and the sensation, the sensation shifts depending on where uh, you're getting like impact from another car, or where you are in the turn. Like if you're sliding left versus sliding right. Oh, I did it again. I keep ignoring the, uh, the mini map. Oh, you see the weep wipers going? Let's look at that. Let's look at that. See if I get some dirt build up here. Not really. I'm not distracted by the birds flying by. See, you're not really getting much. Uh, a car, look, look, look how dirty the car is now. It used to be silver, now it's like a light brown. Just covered in mud. Okay, watch. Oh, I was going to take that turn very aggressively. There you go, some water there. So the first level, there were small puddles in the dirt, but you didn't get to see the effect of driving through a puddle. So I, I almost thought it was missing, but when you see this level, with the larger puddles and mud, uh, it does really showcase what Codemasters can do. And again, this is a game that's, you know, designed for Xbox One and PS4 as well. Thir you know, seven-year-old consoles. Uh, once they get to Dirt 6 and 7, which only work on next-gen hardware. Oh, here we go. See the weather changing? The sky is getting darker, rain is coming in. Look at the shine in the top of the car, it's very different. This is a better showpiece for sure. The racing games are always the prettiest to look at. Oh, rainbow in the background. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I 
lost the first place because of that slide. Oh, wow, I messed that up. Anyways, that's a great little showpiece of what you can do um, with effects and physics and dynamic weather. And, um, wait until they apply that to bigger racing games. I take it, you know, for some of the last couple of Forza games are trying to take advantage of the cloud a little bit with drive guitars. What if that was live? Many, many players, massive environments, crazy dynamic and destructible elements, right? With weather effects and mud and terrain that adjusts based on the weather and, and what happens to it through explosions and cars and apply that to bigger games, shooters, cloud-based MMOs and, you know, bigger, bigger, bigger battle royales five years from now. Well, pretty cool. Anyways, uh, I'll have more videos on this and other games. Um, I have Assassin's Creed Valhalla installed. It won't run until later this week. So I'll definitely put up a video of that. Uh, stay tuned and get, again, come say hi. Twitch.tv slash every evening. Cheers.